welcome you all to part uh, four of the chapter dual nature of radiation and matter in this session we will be studying about a concept for which albert einstein received nobel prize that is einstein's photoelectric equation by using this equation he explained photoelectric effect he used planck's quantum theory to explain this according to einstein light consists of small packets of energy called photons for example if there is a bulb it emits light and this light consists of packets of energy called as photons means he supported particle nature of light if the light is dim means it emits less number of photons if the light is bright it emits more number of photons the energy of each photon is h nu e is equal to h nu means the energy of the photon depends upon the frequency of the light emitted means it depends upon the color of the light emitted that is e is equal to h nu now let us see what happens when a light of h nu falls on a metal surface this is a metal surface which consists of free electrons when the light of energy falls on this metal surface the energy of a single photon is absorbed by a single electron according to einstein when a light of energy h nu falls on a metal surface it is absorbed by a single electron means the energy of single photon is absorbed by the single electron the energy which is absorbed by a single electron is used in two ways one to come off the out of the metal the second one to move forward okay a part of energy is used in liberating the electron from the metal surface that is equal to the work function of the metal we know that work function is the minimum energy required for the electron to come out of the metal means this energy is nothing but work function of the metal and the remaining part of energy is used to move forward means the remaining part of the energy is used in giving the kinetic energy to the electron this equation is about maximum kinetic energy of the electron it is not about kinetic energy of all the electrons which are emitted let us check it out why we are taking the maximum kinetic energy this is a metal whose work function is 6 electron volt and uh, we are supplying the energy of 10 electron volt now here okay there may be different cases let us check it out four cases here the first case is that it does not waste any energy in the collision and directly it comes out with the kinetic energy 4 electron volt according to law of conservation of energy 6 plus 4 must be equal to 10 now here right okay the second case may be like this the energy of uh, light 10 electron volt falls on a metal whose work function is 6 electron volt and the electron wastes 1 electron volt for the collision and the remaining will be 3 electron volt in the similar manner it to waste 2 electron volt then what will be the kinetic energy of that electron 2 electron volt if it wastes 3 electron volt in the collision then what will be the kinetic energy one electron volt means there may be different kinetic energies to the electron einstein explains about the first case that is maximum kinetic energy of the electron that is according to law of conservation of energy the light of energy which new falls on the metal it is absorbed by the electron it uses in two ways one to come out of the metal that is nothing but work function and the second one to move forward that is maximum kinetic energy of the electron so h nu pi naught that is work function that is equal to h nu naught kinetic energy that is half mv square half m v max square means einstein explains about the maximum kinetic energy of the electron considering it does not waste any energy during the collision and this equation is called as einstein's photoelectric equation here h is planck's constant nu is the frequency of the light which falls on the metal nu naught is the threshold frequency m is the mass of the electron which comes out of the metal and v max is the maximum velocity of the electron with which that electron comes out so this is all about einstein's photoelectric equation now let us use einstein's photoelectric equation to explain experimental observations of photoelectric effect here we will be explaining why photoelectric effect is instantaneous why the photo current is directly proportional to the intensity of incident light why there exists a minimum frequency called threshold frequency below which no photoelectric emission takes place why the maximum kinetic energy of photo electrons is directly proportional to the frequency of incident light so we will be seeing the explanations for all these experimental observations of photoelectric effect let us start with the first one why photoelectric effect is instantaneous photoelectric effect is a phenomena which is due to absorption of single photon by single electron 
the process of absorption of photon and emission of electron is instantaneous therefore photoelectric effect is instantaneous the time gap between absorption of photon and emission of electron is very smaller it is even less than 10 raised to minus 9 second because of this reason we shall say that photoelectric effect is instantaneous photoelectric effect is due to absorption of single photon by a single electron since Absorption of photon and emission of electron is instantaneous. Photoelectric effect is instantaneous. Now, let us move to the second one. Here, we will be saying why photo current is directly proportional to the intensity of incident light. When intensity of incident light increases, how to increase the intensity of incident light? Increase the brightness of the light. We have seen that if you increase the brightness of the light, number of photons increases. Okay, now let us take it out. When intensity of light is increased, the number of photon increases. If number of photon increases, number of photo electrons emitted increases. If number of photo electrons emitted increases, photo current increases. Means by this we can say that photo current is directly proportional to the brightness of the light. Means we shall say that photo current is directly proportional to the intensity of incident light. Now let us move on to the third one. That is by using this Einstein's photoelectric equation. We shall say that the light of energy H nu is incident on a metal. This energy is absorbed by the electron and it uses in two ways. One to come out of the metal and the second one to move forward. To come out of the metal, the energy used by the electron is equal to the work function of that metal. That is H nu naught. And the energy used to move forward, it is nothing but the kinetic energy of that electron. Let me take it as K max. That is maximum kinetic energy. That is H nu is equal to H nu naught plus K max. By this we can say that K max equal to H nu minus H nu naught. Now let us take three cases. In the first case, let us take the frequency of the incident light is equal to the threshold frequency. What happens if nu equal to nu naught? H is constant. If nu equal to nu naught, then K max is equal to zero. What does it indicate? Means electron is, comes out of the metal, but it will not move. That is, the electron just come out of, out of the metal, but kinetic energy is zero. If the frequency of incident light is equal to the threshold frequency, means the energy of the photon is equal to the work function. If in this case, the kinetic energy of the photoelectron is zero, means it comes out of the metal, but it will not move. So this is the first case. Let us go to the second case. If frequency of the incident light is greater than the threshold frequency, means the energy of the photon is greater than the work function. If energy of the photon is greater than the work function, means electron will come out and it will move further right here means if this term is greater than this term definitely k max must be positive right so the electron come out of the metal with some kinetic energy means the electron comes out of the metal with some kinetic energy let us check it out on which factor does it depend upon Kin maximum kinetic energy the formula is h nu minus h nu naught h is constant nu naught that is also constant for a metal means what is the variable here nu by this equation we can say that the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron is directly proportional to the frequency of the incident light so let us conclude that the electron comes out with some kinetic energy which is directly proportional to the frequency of the incident light okay now let us move on to the third one that is if frequency of the incident light is less than the threshold frequency it means the energy of the photon is lesser than the a uh, work function of the metal lamia. If it happens so, then what happens? Means this H uh, nu is less than H nu naught. If this happens, then kinetic energy will be negative. But it is not possible that kinetic energy can never be negative. Right? So it is never possible. By this, we can say that if the frequency of the incident light is less than the threshold frequency, photoelectric emission is not possible at all. Right? So we can say that therefore, below threshold frequency, no photoelectric emission is possible right so these are the explanations for the experimental observations of photoelectric effect using einstein's photoelectric equation thank you